All right, so we are going to look at some of the homework from 11.2. Now, I'm only going to go through some of the problems. Um, some of them were done in the uh, notes section, um, but there's a few that I really wanted to look at. So I've highlighted them and I'll go through them. So the first one here, even though it's number one, sometimes these first problems can kind of be tricky, I've noticed. All right. Um, let's see here. It's a little fuzzy, but these will be uh, posted on Moodle. So if you haven't printed these, you should print these out. <clears throat> All right. So we got Dylan. He is enjoying a comedy night. And it's open mic time. Uh, open mic night. Uh, he has nine jokes to deliver at a comedy show. So the question here is, in how many ways can he uh, organize his jokes? All right, well, this is 11.2. It's most likely permutations. So I guess the tricky thing here is how to set that up. Um, so let's, let me not think about permutations for a minute. Let me just see if I can figure out how to solve this. So he's got nine, looks like he's got nine jokes, there it is. So he's got nine jokes. Um, I'm gonna treat this like a blank problem. All right. Um, and so, of course, you're not going to say the same joke twice in a set. So uh, we will call this first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth. And of course, you probably have figured it out um, by now, but there are nine ways to deliver the first joke uh, now that we Done the first joke, we move on. There are eight jokes to choose, and seven, and so on. Well, that's just nine factorial. I could type it in nine times eight times seven times six, but that's going to take forever. So if you recognize that is nine factorial, you can type that in. And I got three. Six two eight eight zero. So, if you did recognize this was a permutation, well, what's what are we choosing? Okay, remember in PR. So, in this case, our total is nine, but we're choosing nine. Well, that's weird. Okay, so. 9p9, um, <clears throat> this is 9 factorial over 9 minus 9 factorial. Okay, what is that going to be? 9 minus 9 is 0. Well, as I said earlier, 0 factorial is just 1. So we have 9 factorial over 1 or nine factorial, which was that. Um, I could type it in the calculator. Nine PRB in PR. Choose nine, and I get that number. Okay. All right, that's the first one. So I'm actually gonna move on to my second page. Uh, let's see. Some of these are basically from notes, so I'm going to let you look at those. Uh, the next one I want to do is actually number 10. It's also dealing with some performers. Yeah. 
So in this case, we've got nine performers who will present their comedy acts at a club. Now, one of the performers insists on being last. He, maybe he's the most experienced, and so he gets to go last. So if, he, if his um, request is granted, the question is how many ways can we schedule the appearance? Well, we've got nine performers, so let me do my bonus. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine total, right? First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven. Uh, that last performer, that one guy is going last. So there's only one way to choose that. Now, we don't know who's going first or second or third. So once we've chosen that last one to go last, then now we have eight that could go first, seven that could go second, so on. So this is basically just boils down to eight factorial times one. So if I type that in, eight brb factorial see that's four zero three two zero. And I think we'll probably do one more example, and then I'll end this video and do another video. <clears throat> yeah, so number 15 is probably going to give you some trouble. Um, if I type this in directly, I can do that, 22 factorial divided by 14 factorial. Well, this bothers me. I get this decimal and uh, scientific notation. So I'm gonna write that down. I'm gonna show you clear, more clear what we get. So if I type number 15 in directly into the calculator, I got 1.2893.1264 times 10 to the 10. All right, and so even if I try another approach, you see something else I could do is the following. 22 factorial over 14 factorial. I could do this as breaking it down. 22 times 21 times 20 times 19 times 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13. Okay, so this goes on all the way down to 3 times 2 times And the same thing for 14 factorial, I'm gonna put it there, 14 times 13 times 12, all the way down to three times two times one. So what we end up with is just a few other things multiplied together. It's still a lot, in fact, what happens if I do that? I mean, two times 21 times 20, 17, 16 times 15, the 14s would cancel, and I still get the same thing. So that means that answer is correct, and that's about as far as we can go. But notice it just wants the answer. It doesn't tell us to do scientific notation. So what we're going to have to do is convert that, like I did in the notes. 
I write all these numbers down. One, two, eight, nine, three, one, two, six, four. You may have to add some zeros. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so I had to add some zeros. And that's okay. This is actually what they want as their answer. So I will rewrite it. It's one, two, eight, nine, three, one, two, six, four, zero, zero. Let's see what this number is going to be. So it looks like it's twelve billion eight ninety three million one twenty six thousand four hundred. So there will be some examples where that happens. 